Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. I'm your host. And we're going to play some dragons. 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 I think we had a dragon deck build, but I might have deleted it. So let's start from scratchy boys. Okay, so. <coughs> dragons. Drag. I guess we could just search for dragon, not dragons. Scarganos Helkytos. Sarkanus Bloodfirus. I do need one more Sarkon. We want to go three Sarkons. And maybe like three Dragon's Hordes. Three Nivs. Four Nickies. Uh, one Palladium Wars, maybe? No, that's probably just going to be worse than... One Chromium I like. Um, what dragons don't we have? What's the dra what's the dragons we don't have button? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. That's what I want. Scargon... Helkutos. I'm gonna make one more of these too. Is Atali a dragon? No, Atali is a dinosaur, unfortunately. Much as we'd like him to be a dragon. Dragon Skull Summit, ironically, uh, does get chosen. They just want your they want your respect, dragons. Oh, come on, guys. Just give them just give them some love. Uh, this actually seems fine for me. Um, okay, this is uh, this is Dragon Soul deals one damage to each opponent, and each creature they control. So this Sarkon's plus two, which puts him to seven, is just Chain Whirler. Deals four damage to target player or Planeswalker. That's pretty bad. Search library for any number of Dragon creature threats within the battlefield. Eh. Don't care about Bone Dragon. Don't care about Sarkon's Whelp, even though that is a little cutie. Sarkon's Dragonfire deals three to any target. Look at the top five cards. You may reveal a red card from among them. Put them in your hand. And actually, if that was an instant, I could see that actually being reasonably decent. Vavictus Asmati is pretty cool because it's just you get to kill their permanents. I think these are probably the dragons we're going with, though, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven dragons? That seems like a good amount, right? Lava Coil. Nope, it's two words. We could play Teferi, because we have the one Shivan just for old times. Yeah, why not? These aren't the dragons we're looking for. I'm going to look up the uh, previous. The previous deck we played. Um, how do I find that? I guess we can go stream decker, right? I, I imagine the list is in there. I just want to see what the, the core components of this deck were. Because now we're adding Skargan Hellkite to it. Which is pretty pretty solid. Uh, d -d 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 dragons. Man, this was a while ago. Four color dragons. Oh, Ral Zarex. We had Ral Zarex in here. Oh my god, why is he so loud? It is unbelievable. Is the deck not going to load? That'd be really sad. <clears throat> cat stream activated. Yeah, cat stream definitely is activated here. Why isn't this deck loading? 
Okay, it loaded. All right, Teferi Rals. There are, there's one Ral, two Teferis. Sailor of Means was another card we added. We maximized on Sailor of Means just to have like a Deafening Clarion. Oh, this is like the four color list. We can actually make it just a three color list. Take out Chromium and maybe put like, is there any other dragon that we want? How come, um, what's the dragon that didn't show up? What's the other guy? Oh, Varric's Blade Wing. That's the dude I was looking at. That's the guy I was thinking of. Hmm. I don't know if that's good enough, though. We have four bolus. We got we got quattro boluses in here. <clears throat> what else is in this list? All right. Braska's Contempt, Cast Down, One Expansion Explosion, which I do kind of like, especially because we have a lot of mana. One Search, I do like that. I think Search is good in all the blue decks. One Treasure Map, three, two Dragon's Horde, two Eldest Reborn. Let's put one Eldest Reborn in here, and then we'll just put one more on the sideboard. Is there another card that's been added that's kind of like Death and Clarion? Is there any other sweeper like that? Ritual of Soot isn't bad. Cry of the Carnarium isn't bad. Oh my god, he's so loud, dude. What? I just clicked on the cry. Put three in the sideboard. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep it Rakdos here. There's no or, 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 or Grixis rather. There's no reason to go into white here. I mean, we can answer enchantments with negates, right? Yeah, Golden Demise. Cry of the Kernam just seems better though, right? I don't know, I'm no expert. Hey, you guys in the chat like dragons? Cause I got some news for you. Instant speed is all right. Um, Ritual does always seem decent, but is it better than Cry? And do we do do we play both? These are the questions we're asking ourselves. I think our only four drop is Nicobolus. We do have like Vraska's Contempt space, and we also have some five drop space. I think we're just gonna play Ral's Rally Zally. No, it's not Ral Zarek, is it? It's Ral. Is it Viceroy? Okay. Dragons make me gassy, but I like him. Okay. Well, that's good. That's nice. So this is 55 cards, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So this is 6, 7, 12, 13, 24. Okay, so that is 24 lands. So we do get five more slots here. And we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two drops. Three drops could use some work, I guess. This is 100% a 25 land deck, yes. Watare. Four watery, four steamy boys. I think we want one island, one mountain. Uh, it's probably gonna maximize Blood Crypt too. And then we can go Drowned. That's not how you spell that at all. So I'll err on the side of Catacomb. And what was the other one? Sulfur. So this is what? 
four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's that's pretty good. I like that. Oh, uh, I do like Bedevil actually. Bedevil seems great. We don't want to swamp because actually all of our lands can help us cast an Imizit. It is nice to have dragons because we also have Dragon Sword that can help us cast things like Bedevil and stuff. Here we go. Today I went past an old house I used to live in. I asked the owners if I could look around for old time's sake. They said no. Parents can be so mean sometimes. Wow. Why are you like this? You know, I'm listening. We should we did we did we we cut chromium ready. Oh, we didn't cut chromium ready. All right, yeah, we're not playing that. That was intentional. We meant to cut chromium. Um, I'm gonna look up all the new cards from Yawkmoth's vile offering. Could be actually pretty sweet. I'm a huge fan of Yawkmoth's vile offering, or even. Offering seems great. So we have three Sarkons, three, four, six, seven. Let's actually get rid of Eldritch Reborn. We're gonna play two Vile Offerings and two Temporal Sunderings. How many rares do I have, like 30? 43. Why as Kanta? Because it's just an amazing card. It's always, I'm never, I'm never upset about drawing one as Kanta. Like, it's great if it if it flips. If it doesn't, you're just literally scrying every turn for two mana. It's just really good. Um, this deck seems sweet. What do you say that PewDiePie made another mirror? What I know, I don't know what what am I supposed to say? I don't know. Pewds makes videos. What are you gonna do? Like, it's cool. He's a big name, and he's he's giving uh, he's giving exposure to Arena, so that's cool. That's a net positive. Um, no, I definitely want to keep the negate. Oh, you like ionize over negate? I don't think the damage is relevant. I think the the two mana for negate is just so much better. I do like ionize though. I, I would probably put like one ionize over a cast down actually, because you already have like bedevils and lava coils. I do like having one eye and eyes. And we have Vraska's Contempt as well. <clears throat> All right, let's Grixis. Cool, cool, cool. And you can be our leader. Iron Eyes? Oh, I see what you did there. All right, let's see how this deck fares. Our board is not done. Let's cancel this and build our sideboard. That's fantastic. <laughs> this guy didn't even put together a sideboard. I'm like, I go to sideboard, I have six cards. Cool. Does Tezzeret? Not really. We don't have any artifacts. Like, Tezzeret's just the worst Ralzaric in this deck, right? Like, because you're only going to draw two, or you're going to draw one, or you can make, like, a Thopter every now and then. I do like Moment of Craving. I also like it against the, um... <coughs> I also like it against the, uh, the Mono Red deck. I think Fire Candidate is better just because against the Mono, the Mono Blue deck. Did I say Mono Red? I meant Mono Blue. But against the Mono Blue deck, you can actually just play this EOT. And that's pretty cool. Um... What else are good here? I like I like do you like ionize. I wonder how many counter spells we're actually gonna have. Let me actually check the old sideboard. Oh, Thief of Sanity is nice. God, I kind of want Thief of Sanity in the main deck. Like that's just one of my favorite cards. 
I think I like Thought Erasure more than Duress. I do like four of those bad boys. Let's put one Star of Extinction in there as well. That seems good. I like that. More Ionize. Unmoored Ego seems real good, actually. I like that a lot. Okay, so take out the Spell Pierce. Put two on Mordigo. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> Badger, your uh, your fixation with elves might be uh, it might be the stuff of legends. Legend, not legends. It might be the stuff of legend. There we go. I'm going to keep this hand. You'll whiff off Coco more often than not, but it draws a card and deals the damage with Niv on board as a console. It's true. If we just wait till we have Niv Mizzet, it's actually really good. If they don't have a counter spell here, I'm going to be like... Over the moon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we're actually going to plus because we want to be able to hit a. Why wouldn't we plus? You told me I don't doubt my methods. Get rid of explosion expansion here. Okay, well, we didn't hit a land. We can still play Nickel Bolas next turn. Wow, that's rude. Now we can't. But we can just kill this guy? Yeah, alright, sure. We do need a second black. We found it. We're just gonna play Nicol Bolas now. That's just kind of rude. So we get to kill this and get our Nicol Bolas back? And you get, get rid of another card? Yikes. Oh, is this like the Esper... Esper... Oh, can we... Oh my god, land. <gasps> Target a player, me, bounce this thing. Oh my god. Karn's Temporal Sundering. That card is OP, my dudes. Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing all the things we want to do. Oh lord. Put a creature or a planeswalker card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, huh? So we can get a hostage taker or we can get a second nickel... No, we can't yet. This is amazing. I don't care about... I think we're just getting hostage takers stealing this guy. So that when they play Lyra... <clears throat> we can recast this guy. And then we still have a Sarkon out here, so that's cool. Um... Just gonna, I'm going to plus this, but I'm not going to discard anything because I think our hand is fine. Yeah, the old Nicol Bolas. Karn's Temporal, Sun your Lyra. Flip Nicol Bolas. That's, I guess, a solid line. Okay, you got it. Well, that's sad, isn't it? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... We're actually one man away from actually... We can, we can play both of these guys. Or we can also see what we hit here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I have Lyra in one other card. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's cast this and see what they do. And then if we want the other two mana, I think we just keep the seam vents in hand. Uh, add two mana. I summon you. Red and red. Play this guy. Do I want haste? No, we want a counter, right? And this is four to activate. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just gonna play the end then. Because now we can shoot things for a million thousand damage. Like, you can't even play a Lyra here because we just kill it with Nicobolus the Ravager. We did not upload this deck to stream Decker yet. Cast both bros. Can you activate Hellkite twice? Yes, we can. Yes, we can! Um... <clears throat> I don't actually think we need anything here. Our, our sideboard, our, our deck looks actually great. But Devils and Lava Coils are good against all the two threes. Um, Thought Erasure is fine, but it doesn't really like... It's not. It doesn't seem like it's better than any of the other cards. Batcher, you're so random, dude. You're so random. Ten more Thank gifted you. subs. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are the best. Oh, man. Welcome, guys. Welcome. If you guys are... Uh, I'm going to keep this Thank in. You. Oh, man. Karn's Temporal Sundering Bounce your Lyra. Woo! Thank you. Somebody turned on the heat. <clears throat> Just saying, I'm taking credit for all the legendary spells that are cast. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kill this dude. This guy, this guy gets immediate death. Thank you. Never let their hero resolve. Thank you. Thank you. Dragon's Horde. So now, next time we can play either one of these because of Dragon's Horde. And if we play this guy, we get to draw another card. One, two, three, four. Dang, only one, huh? So we can Rowl and plus Rowl, or we can just play Skargon. I think we're just playing Skargon here. Because it turns... It doesn't actually turn on that. It turns on... Or I guess we could have played Rowl and that would turn on the Yawgmoths. But then we don't have anything in the graveyard to get anyway, so... Um, yeah, we're going to put one on this guy. I'm just hoping you don't have either Deputy or Hostage Taker, but you probably do. Two Exodus, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. really appreciate it. <clears throat> if you play like... Yeah, this is Hostage Taker, 100%. Pretty rough. Yep, never done that. Eye roll. Yep. <clears throat> I guess Niv Mizzet's pretty good here, right? I just want them to cast this. They put another Hellkite in the graveyard. We could draw a card and still play Ral. Oh, God. If they don't have a land, it's okay. Look at all the cards they have of ours. <laughs> That's so sad. niv also lets us cast Yawgmoth's Vile Offering next turn. And this thing is getting loaded up with counters, so that's pretty cool. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get this is gonna be three. So we can actually kill the hostage. Oh, they did that on their turn. Oh, that's great. That's significantly better. I thought that was on our turn, but I guess that wouldn't make any sense. So, did they just put another spell in there? That's pretty cool. So now we have two. So we can go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play Ral and keep up negate and So you go to you go to two? Uh then we lose this. Actually we could just kill this. Oh, God, they're both so good. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, I guess we could just do this. <clears throat> Select a value for X3. Target a creature or a planeswalker. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that was that was bound to happen. So we're probably dead here. They just, yep, yeah, we'll just do one of these jobs. I'm gonna go to two, right? One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go to two. Sarkon. No sword can pierce my scales. Oh, Seraph seems good. Um, that doesn't have a counter on it. Sure. <clears throat> What's in our graveyard? Oh, Ral. So we can get back a Ral, and I'm sure we can. Uh, kill those. Always nice to get out of the lab. What's going on? I, can I use this? There we go. I was like, why isn't it letting me use this? Bolus told me. <clears throat> Well, we're not dead. I actually totally forgot that if we kill the hostage taker, we get the dragon back. Because it's not underneath the dragon for some reason. Like with Deputy of Detention, the card goes underneath the deputy, but for hostage taker, it wasn't under there. So it kind of like slipped my mind because I'm not used to it and I process it differently. Sure. All right. Well, we get to keep up in the gate here. Um, I will call go the dragons. Black, red. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's up? We're real close to actually just being able to, to flip this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's actually just draw a card here. Okay, so we'll just play Watery Grave. And I think we're just keeping up the gate here. <clears throat> Thought Erasure. Um, like, you just take negate, right? Yeah, it's fine. Whereas, like, you could also just take Karn's Temporal Sundering or Ral, which I think are stronger. Oh, wow, they didn't have anything there? That's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine, ten, eleven mana to work with, so this is six. And Oh, we can actually... No, we can't. Mm, dang it. Let's discard. Steam vents. I know what I'm doing. Well, that's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> really want the negates here. Search for us, Conta. That, that ain't it. That ain't it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually play car. Why is it non-land permanent? Damn it! <laughs> Target to player. Me. Submit. Just submit like this. I don't have anything with haste, right? 
Okay. Uh, graveyard. Yep, definitely transforming that dude. <clears throat> All right, so um, you're at six. You take negative seven. Let's discard a card. I don't need this. I need this. Get rid of Sarkon here. Okay, that's actually nice and safe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have three left over. So we go black, black. So we're gonna tap you, tap you, tap you. So we have black, black. No, none of this is going to work, actually. It's got to be red and blue, so that's fine. So we still have black. Yeah, it's still fine. We still have black, black, red, and we still have... Uh, <clears throat> we still have search for us count up if they don't do anything, so... Frasca's Contempt. They were just waiting for us to activate this guy, and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. These guys have haste. No, that's unfortunate. Man, they were just waiting, and that was hilarious. Come on, flip your niv mizzen. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I gotta, I gotta put more on the board. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, we'll just let this resolve. I think we're actually, despite being a two, I think we're way ahead right now. Um, pass two attackers, pass the end of turn. I'm gonna actually actually activate this because we can do this any turn. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> sure. Oh my god, we can actually Karn's temporal sundering bounce this F ultimate Sarkon and then just kill them on the next turn. Ooh. Uh, you can pay two life. We're at two. You have two life to pay. If you have one life, you can't. The slim, the slim. I was the stream decker list is very, very incorrect. That is true. Let's update it now for all those. Because really, this deck is sweet, and uh, you should want to play it because it's super cool. Dicks, upload new deck. <clears throat> uh, I guess I have to save it as something. All right, hold on one second. R, S, T, D, R, N, A, Grixis, Dragons. <clears throat> All right, cool. Now it should be updated. Now it should be correct. Let's let's do this. Uh, it is not draft time, no. <laughs> it is dragon time. <clears throat> Who doesn't like dragons? Who doesn't like dragons? I will play first. Oh, yeah. We need another red, but I think we're fine if, if we don't. It's okay. It's okay. This looks like top eight. Why, are they, why the kappa at the end? I don't even understand. Oh, Bushmevel. Okay. Hopefully they play something for two, like that's not a creature. Don't play a creature, dude. That's a creature. I literally just said don't play a creature. That's also a creature. I don't understand. It's like you're not even listening to me. 
Oh, because you don't want to try. Well, I don't. It's not that I don't want to try. Boy, where's my where's my fiery cannonade now, huh? If we don't hit a red source, if we even if we hit a red source, it's actually pretty bad for us. Lava cool is actually pretty okay. Who's this guy naming? I can't see because the oh, a Johnny's chosen. Yeah, that's a Johnny's pride mate, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. You think they'll forget? I hope so. Wait, it did die? What? Wow. Huh. Sometimes you just live that dream, I guess. Well, this flipping is, is something. But Niv, like if we can just get, give me a red source and I can play this Scargan and then give me another one so I can play this Niv Mizzoot. It's not what we're looking for. I think we're just dead here. We're taking one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to five. I don't think there's anything we can really do. All right, so take out the slow things. This is nice because it's easy to sideboard. We can take out the that. We can take out this guy. Take out um, the gates. Bring in three cannonade, three moment of craving, and we can probably take out like. Shut up and take my money. Probably one offering. <clears throat> It puts the shirt on its head or it gets the hose again. Oh, Caspi, good times, good times. Oof, there you go. You know what? This is fine. Yep, keep. Double cannonade lava coil seems pretty perfect. We did get him with the lava coil, and that's really what—that's really what matters. Can we get him with the? Can we get him with the fiery cannonade? Is my question. Are we having troll drawing red lands? I think we might want another blood crypt over like a drown catacomb actually. Because blood crypt is also good for bedevil. Or like a dragon skull summit rather. Because I think we have. This is gonna be this is gonna be amazing. You got it. Goosh. Wow, this guy's at negative one right now. Magic be crazy. Any one land we can play Ral, which is nice. I mean, you can cast some X2s as well. That's fine. I accept that. I feel like we can just wait till next turn to actually fiery cannonade here. The thing is, if I if I draw a land, I want to be able to rally and draw some cards. Yeah, we'll just do this. They're taking more damage than we are, man. Yep, that's what we're talking about. I've worked my whole life for this. Hmm. Decision time. 
surprisingly want the second red source. Always been a big fan of content. I was just wondering if your perspective has the recent influx on your stream had a positive impact. Uh, no, it definitely wouldn't have a positive impact on my stream. Um, it's just like I, we've talked about this at length actually because it's just there's just too many cooks in the kitchen. Like you just have so many options of streamers and they all have different like varying degrees of quality. Like some might be better personalities, some might be better at playing. Like you know when I'm I, when I was streaming normally, like it's a lot easier for me to be a streamer when I'm not competing with like Brad Nelson, Seth Manfield. Uh, Owen Turtenwald and Ben Stark at the exact same time, and it's just kind of weird. Um, so we can lava coil you. <clears throat> so you're at three? Yeah, we're just gonna see what we hit here. Just wanna oh, and if it's Wait, very, very good. Me. One, two, three, four, five, six. We take another two. <clears throat> okay, Jeff says the more ma high quality magic streamers add to the overall audience so when Brad isn't streaming. That's actually a good point. That's interesting. This is actually tough. I like the Niv Mizzet. I think we're just going to go with Sulphur Falls. We take two less here, but we do get to play Nicol Bolas here and not really. And we're just hoping the last card isn't Conclave Tribunal, I guess. I mean, there's a lot of interesting perspectives. Like, I could see, like, either of those being the case, right? I could see, like, it being worse for, for smaller streamers like myself. Or being better for the entire... Like, it's a rising tide. Yep, of course it's rising. Oh, my God. This isn't over. No, it actually is. It actually is over. Let us fight. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I actually might like Sinister Sabotage over over Ionize. Like Ionize is cute and all, but like I don't think the two damage is better than the surveil. Like being able to just find our next card faster, or like not having to have red mana to do this is just it seems better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, oh, bad two. So we're going to go red, red, blue, blue. Yeah, we'll just do red and blue. Yeah, this is a pretty good draw. I mean, we could block here, we take one. Unless they happen to have another Conclave Tribunal. What are the odds of that? It's got to be like 0%. You know? Like, there's no way they have another one. Maybe they forget? Cool. Uh, maybe they attack Sarkon? Oh look, they didn't attack Sarkon. I just, I get so tired of these mindless, like, monocolored aggro decks, like... I don't know, man. What if we actually put one captive audience in the deck instead of explosion, expansion, explosion? And then, okay, we wanted to add another Dragon Skull Summit over probably one Drowned Catacomb. Oh, let's actually... Oh, I should have changed the ionized. 
I don't think the enchantment thing is true. You keep saying that, but I don't think that's actually accurate. Like, I mean, if they play Conclave Tribunal, it's the same as them just playing Vraska's Contempt. There's no difference, really. And, like, we have negates and stuff. Like, we have ways to counter their spells. Like, you can say the same about any blue deck, really. Like, it just happens. It's not a huge deal. I was, I, I, more like Faptive and Naptive audience. Wow, you guys are, you guys are killing it today. Yeah, Karn's Temporal Sundering. That is an answer. Um, black, black, red, red. Yeah, we can graveyard that. The new mulligan test they will do soon? No, I have not seen that. <clears throat> That's interesting. That's something right there. Um, I'm just gonna play this now. Like, if they have a counter spell, I'd rather avoid it. But I don't think they're gonna. Like, we don't. <clears throat> I don't think they're gonna play a spell that we're really afraid of. They're probably just gonna play a creature. I feel like a moron. I was not expecting a Tefri there. And unfortunately, Tefra goes to five, so we can't actually kill it with this guy. But we can just cast this guy. Um, I'll just library that. If I hit all attack... Okay, now we get to choose. That's nice. Okay. Enough. No time for a break. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna keep that because if Niv Mizzet can stick around for just one turn. I hope they try to counter it. Dang it. Let me open this clip, but I can't watch it right now. The London Mulligan. Are they going to implement this to um, real life magic too, or just pay, just just digital magic? Hurry! If we can hit land and then go vile offering with negate up, it's pretty insane, right? Oh wow, this seems good. Kill Teferi, get back a Drake. Huh. <sighs> well. That sure seems nice. As soon as I think of one. Yep, never don't have it. Graveyard. Well, we hit two lands, guys. We hit two lands, not just one. Yeah, so our misplay this game was letting Tefri resolve. And trying to deal with a 0-4 Crackling Drake that we shouldn't have cared about. Keep up the pace. It's okay. We'll get there.
And we have a lot of removal. Like, we have Lava Coils, Vraska's Contempt, Bedevil. Maybe we just want one more Bedevil over one Lava Coil. I like that, actually. So, let's take out two Lava Coils. Take out one Vile Offering and one Karn. Take out the Captive Audience here. Bring in one more to Ego, other Negate. Not a mirror, thought, thought Erasure, rather. I just want four Negates here. Okay, I feel like I have to watch this video now, so... See if you guys can hear right. it. Right, so first I'll explain how the mulligan works, and then we'll talk more about the motivation behind it and that sort of thing. Yep. So the way that it works is if you choose to take a mulligan, you always draw back up to seven cards, and then once you're satisfied with your seven-card hand and decide to keep it, you put a number of cards from your hand back on the bottom of your library equal to the number of times you mulliganed. Mm -hmm. So let me give an example. So I draw my first seven-card hand, and I don't like it for whatever reason. I have no lands or whatever. I decide to take I shuffle my hand back into my library. I draw a new hand of seven cards, and this time I like it, I decide to keep it. So I put one card from my hand back on the bottom of my library and keep six. Okay. So you're still going down from seven to six to five and so on, but each time you're getting to look at seven new cards before you decide whether... That's pretty interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. That is... Well, you wouldn't scry if you mulligan, because you're mulliganing to seven and then you're putting a card back, so it's basically like keeping the best six in your hand. really interesting. I'll play an Ionize. I'll disdainful stroke your guy. Well, it's not really faithless looting because you're getting, they're going on the bottom of your library, right? Not on the, the graveyard. Let's hope they don't have a second Tefra, I guess. <sighs> Having a good time against all these counter spells. Theater of Horrors does seem great, actually. This is amazing. Will they ever not have it? Find out next time. On Grixis Dragon's Ballsy. Wow, they must have really wanted to keep that, because otherwise they could have flipped their Ascanta.
Hmm. Not ideal. <laughs> sure. Nice. Pay two life. I'll pay it. You know why? Because I think your threats are shit. Man, our game one was so gas, and then we turned, and then our then our game our good our second and third games were like, nope. So we're definitely missing some things here. Cyborg, you have a good afternoon, buddy. Frank said the doo doo word for adults. Oh lord. We're doing good here. I'm, I'm really enjoying all these lands. We're just gonna concede. It's just like not even worth it at this point. Like, okay. So I don't think this is. I think we just want earlier things. I do like two sinisters in here. I like another bedevil. Probably over a Yawgmoth's filing. Filing? Vile offering. Let's try that. I'm assuming it's been asked, but that new mulligan, am I right? I just, actually, we literally just talked about it like seconds ago. I was actually just, I had the video up even. The key to commit to that, and then putting that number back on the bottom of your library. Okay, so the scry that we do now. No scrying anymore, okay. right. It's sort of like, instead of keeping your hand and then looking at the top card of your library, you're getting to see all seven of those cards before you decide to keep your Right, so first I'll explain how the mulligan works, and then we'll talk more about the motive. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. So, like they said, you're basically drawing a card of seven hands, seven, uh, drawing a hand of seven cards, if you don't like them, shuffle them back in, draw another seven, but since you've mulliganed once, one thing you have to remember how many times you've mulliganed, right? Because then you get to, you have to shuffle, or put one on the bottom, you put one card from your hand on the bottom. Johnny <laughs> seven hands. He's got seven hands. Oh god. I hate all of you. I also don't like I don't like what's going on here. Oh, look at that. We drew a thing. Let's kill this dude before he gets out of hand. Before he gets out of Johnny seven hands. <laughs> Am I right? Why no attack with this Lana War Elf? Fascinating. This feels okay. Please don't, no, please don't, no. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, we go to five, we play this guy. Bowser is the president of Tendo Snow in LA, mulligans are changing. 
Oh my god. It's true. It's true. Yeah, alright, I'll take five of Five Aruskis. Five Alava Ding Dong. One, two. Oh my god. I really have to play this and then die? Oh my god. Block here, take three. Seems good, I'm game. What could possibly go wrong? Look at all my crawl harpooners! <laughs> if we could get one turn, I feel like I'm okay. Come on, one turn. Who are you targeting? Who is it targeting? I don't know who it's targeting. I literally don't know who it's targeting. Of course it's targeting that guy. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't they have a might of the masses? Alright, so let's take out expensive things. Yogmoth, Temporals, bring in these moments. Take out the negates and just bring in cannonades. Alright. Which Ritual of Soot could be actually pretty good. I can see Ritual of Soot. Maybe like two cannonade, two ritual. I don't know. Ritual seems slow against the, uh, the scary decks that can counter it. I've never actually played against a green deck that didn't have a Llanowar Elf on turn one. It's actually kind of interesting. I didn't. I don't think those exist. Here's a Thorn Lieutenant. Here's a Growth Chamber Guardian. Here's a third Sarkon. Oh God. Uh, alright, well, I'm grateful you didn't actually just activate this guy. That's pretty cool for us. Oh my god! Oh my Jesus lord! Lucky, 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 lucky. No. <laughs> yes. Oh god. Okay, let's let's hit another one. No. All right, that's fine. My god. Alright, let me be able to activate this guy. Don't play- don't- you got one card. Alright, it's not a Crawl Harpooner. That's good. That's important. Hmm. One, two, three. We can activate Sarkon, like... Discard a card. It's very easy to do. I kind of just want to kill both of these elves. I think that's probably better. Let's 
So they can deal three. Yeah, we're just attacking here. This guy's gonna get real big with the Sedana's climb, though. They're gonna deal four here. That's pretty rough. So this becomes a 5, and then they, they attack for 10, but we can attack for 5, and then shoot them twice if we hit a land. Alright. Okay, that's fine. Put a counter. It's a 5-5, five, five. they attack us for 10, we go to 2. I accept. We also have blockers for days. All right, it's okay. So what is this target tree trolling flying? Yeah, Alright, so they're going to the face. Then they're doubling. Dang it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to hit a land here. Don't doubt my methods. Oh my god, I hate you so much, Magic the Gathering! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, that's brutal. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can actually, we can deal 7 to them. The problem with leaving them a 1-1... One, one, eh, I guess it's actually fine. It actually leaves them with two 1-1s, one, does it not? Yeah, I'd rather just play Nicol Bolas and chump block it. Like, them getting two 1-1s one, is pretty bad. Because we're at two, and they can just pump the one we don't block, so we'd actually die if we did that. Use this. Yeah, we'll just end the turn. We can. There's nothing we can really draw. I don't think. Like nothing that we really want to draw on this guy anyway. Man, Thor Lieutenant's problematic. Yeah, you did. Interesting. But oh we can take a pump this guy is, is what they're is what they're representing. But we can actually just shoot it twice. Or we can shoot their face twice, it doesn't really matter. Got him! Them. Meet again for the Draconian of Times, once again proving the best color magic is- Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh, good times, good times. I kinda want this Star of Extinction. I think we can get to Star Mana. I got one Sarkon for one Star.
Mm. Mm. No blue mana. But we do have a fire cannon and a lava coil. I'm going to keep this hand. Little man. <laughs> oh, good times. That's a little man. Little man, what are you doing? Put these eye drops in. All right, well, we did not draw. Let's kill that guy now, and then we have Lava Coil for this guy still. I'm also going to take my eye pills. My post-LASIK eye pills. Oh, we're going to Lava Coil that, probably. And we're not going to hit any lands, either. I just want you guys to know that... Uh, 25 lands on the deck, you just don't... You sometimes you just don't hit any lands, you know what I mean? That's understandable. It's fun format. <laughs> yeah, so... Back in the 60s, Stan Lee created the X-Men, right? And Cyclops had to use a visor. But since we're in the... Since we're in, like, the 2000s now... All I have to do is take a couple of pills a day. Man, Fire Candy looking pretty bad against the 2, 3, and the 5 for him, alright? I'm gonna play the one card that I can actually play here. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the graveyard because I can't cast it and I'd rather not just die to these idiots. But I'm going to. I get to go to seven and block here, and uh, they probably have a pump spell. So they're gonna hold. They're gonna they're gonna keep mass might of the masses. We're gonna block here, and then they're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven because they'll have three creatures. And it's gonna be Xaxes. You ready? Here we go. Alright, so, things keep having to, we have to keep changing things here. Oh, a lot of these... Wow, there's now volume. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> That's better. A lot of the soundboard sounds were actually so low. I thought they got lower, but it, apparently an update of... Um, an update of Stream Deck uh, lowered all the volume for these because they're. I guess they didn't... Uh, I guess they there was no volume feature before then. So. And now they're all up to a, a more reasonable level. Yeah, Ritual of Soot needs to go on the sideboard. Like, there's just decks that's like, this is just better. Take out the Cannonade. Um... They got the star, I guess. Uh, cancel. Let's go to the main deck here. It's 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 red sources. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 15 black sources. Hmm. 
And then 4, 8, 12, so we're going to be 16. We have more red than anything else. That doesn't make any sense, right? Well, we do have more red than anything else. Hmm. Fascinating. I actually don't hate one Angrath. I don't know, like, we're trying to deal with the early guys, though. I'm going to take out one Sabotage and add, like, Cast Down, I guess. Vast Down. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Um, Ralph feels great every time we cast it. I don't know, like, the, the problem with Ralph is, like, just getting to five mana. I mean, I want to be able to draw more cards, like... I mean, Ral also turns on like Yogmoth's file offering and Nivmiz it, which are big, which are big game. Dreadbor is a good card. Let's add some Dreadbors. All right, we'll try again. Got to keep going. I will play first. Keep snapperinos. Uh, just blood crypt. Get to kill a thing and then play Sarkhan and then play Niv. Man, see, this is like this is a curve I'm. This is a curve I'm all about. Actually, one, two, three, blue. One, two. I'll uh, just get rid of Island here. Okay, I'm a big fan of being able to. Sure. Oh my god. Just stop it. No. Your deck is bad and you should feel bad. Is worse than I want him to be. You're messing up. My um, yeah, this guy's fine. Ralph does feel like it doesn't do enough right now, which is really the problem. It's 
kind of sad. What's a better five? What's a better card we can play in center round? Just more like... Like, I just want to get rid of... Like, I just want to be able to mitigate these draws. Like, there's no way to, like... Sometimes you just draw a bad card and you're like, well, I just drew a bad card. And, like, there's no... Like, Rowl is the thief of sanity. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. 100% putting three thieves of sanity in the deck. I'm just gonna block here because if they want to spend another spell, we get to shoot something. It's fine. No, will shock your niv visit. Beef of sanity? I don't know if you are right, I'm gonna be honest with you. Three, four, five. So play this guy and we'll play Watery Grave. Yeah, we're just not doing great. This is sad. Our game one really set us up for like uh, a much better, a much better impression of the deck than we've been getting so far, unfortunately. I mean, if they have any way to get rid of this guy, it's just sad times. Although the deck might not have that many ways to do that in general. Mike, what's going on, my dude? Um, well, we have to block here, so I'll do that. And now we can draw Lava Coil. Chicken Tender, okay. Yep, that's a, that's a good magic card. Yep, Blood Crypt. All right, so this is what I mean. Like, you just get into a situation where you just draw mono lands and it's like, all right, cool. I don't think I love Vile Offering, actually. Vile Offering has been a little bit expensive and, and cumbersome. Maybe the Temporal Sunderings and the Vile Offerings need to come out. Like, I like them in theory, but... Phoenix. What does that even mean? You just saying Phoenix? Oh, Rekindling Phoenix is a good one. Yeah, it's not a dragon, so it always kind of got me. Because it doesn't have any synergy with Sarkon or Dragon's Horde. Chemister's Insight I like. I want to write these down. Insight Thief. Phoenix. Chimera. Yes, all of these are good. Chimera is a good one too. Theater of Horrors, that was the other one. The problem with Insight in a deck like this is this is a deck that's mostly playing on your turn. So like... Um, so like it's hard to be like, hey, I'm just gonna casually uh, keep my mana up on turn four. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because in the sense of like you're just gonna be able to 
do it like Um let's play this guy. Do you I know what I'm doing. I have to stop my Roomba because I have to actually go empty the bin. I feel like it's being less efficient because it's bin and it's roller are super filthy. Thank you. I like it. Okay, so we just get to drop Niv Miz in here? That's cool. You can also go one, two, three. You can play Dragon Sword and Nicol Bolas. That's also not bad. I think I'd rather just have him miss it here, though. Uh, I don't clean it after every use. You gotta clean it every once or every once a week or so. Jenny, what's going on? Uh, shoot your little idiot. Okay, one down. Yeah. This is like a four for one. Oh my god. So we drew two. We got rid of two spells and two Terramanders. So it's like a six for one. Oh my god, dude. Oh, but you had two Arclight Phoenixes, because of course you did. The dragon does not lose. Well, the dragon lost there, didn't he? Oh, Russian soul rings, that's gas. They're not gonna be foil though, but I guess that's still fine. Hmm. You got a third phoenix in your graveyard. We're having a good time. Greasy Cleric, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Sure. Man, this hand is one, two, three, four, five, six. Just play this guy. Just play this guy. No attacks. Yeah, but I don't think Phoenix decks are a problem. Like, you don't want to play Damping Sphere just for, like, a Phoenix deck when it's, like, not even really an issue. Totally fine. They have one card in hand. How many spells is that? Just one, right? No, it's two. One? Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Sarkon and... You will come to me. Uh, one, two. It doesn't matter, right? Blue, black.
Seems good. Should have got so high. Oh, pass to end of combat. Um, I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna draw another card. Seems good. I'm gonna discard a card. Yes. <laughs> draw it. Oh my god. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we can get rid of this guy. Seems okay. Alright, so. Put a creature or a planeswalker. What do we got here? When I was truly fighting ants. Nickel bolus? We can just get a nickel bolus back. Let's, I'm game. No, I don't want any of these garbages. My graveyard. So high. Hostage taker. All right, I keep naming cards. See, this is why I like doing this, because I keep forgetting, like, I forget cards. I'm like, oh, god, there's so many cards that, like, I just forget what options are and stuff. Well, I was hoping for a black land there, but... Oh, another steam vents, eh? Classic. What's going on, my dude? 56 months. What's the hippity haps? How are you? Did you do that lace? Oh my god, that was a while ago, man. I'm gonna negate this. Because you suck. Man, that was a two for one. I did get LASIK, by the way. I didn't answer you, but I did. Oh my god, really? All four steam vents? Come on, dude. Seriously? Come on. Man, where's a fiery cannonade when you need? Wow, a black card, that's nice. Yep. I mean, I guess that's cool. I get to kill. How many? What do you got? Three in here? Two of them are spells? Negate. Nothing? Alright. How was the LASIK? I mean, it went fine. The, the, the day or two afterwards was a little rough. Like, my eyes were really super sensitive and... But, um... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like... It's definitely tolerable.
This is fascinating. You have one card in hand? I mean, I guess we're just dead. Like, we got a shock. Bots rowl out. <laughs> oh god, I'm funny. File offering out. Temporal sundering's out. Okay. So if Rack does demon that flips a car. I like that guy, don't get me wrong, but I don't know how I feel about him in the deck. Okay, so. Are any of these two drops? Chemistry's insight is a four drop, Phoenix is a four drop. Hostage taker Shut is four up, drop. Take my money. Theater. You know what I want? <laughs> One dollar and sixty-nine cents. You know what I want? <laughs> Put a shirt on your head and wear it as a hat. Oh my god. Radical idea sounds so bad. Richie, good games, good games. But they were bad games. Yeah, I just didn't hit a black in game three. Like, I feel like all these all these losses, they're not, like, super indicative of the deck itself. I'm never like, oh, man, this deck can't deal with it. It's just, like, getting the draws. Like, not being able to hit a black source in that game and, like, I don't know. What can you do? <laughs> oh, God. Charter Course might actually be better than... Uh, I almost like Charter Course better than than radical ideas what Chandra is there even a shot there ain't even a Chandra legal in standard how many cards do we have six cards right now my list has thief of sanity and theater of horrors uh chemistry's insight rekindling phoenix and hostage taker I had five swamps <laughs> oh god How's our four drop slot looking? Okay. Have you been saying illegal cards? Oh my god. I'd go down one bedevil. I... Yeah, you probably could do that. I like that. I mean, there's no legal Nissa either, so I mean, it's not like you have to have the shot. It's not like those five. I don't think there's any Gideon either. Like, there's no. I think all of the Gatewatch is actually not legal right now. I think there may be some, like, Cunning Castaway, which is terrible. Uh, no Nissa. Yeah, there's no, there's no legal Planeswalkers right now. There's none, none of the Gatewatch except for that one, Jace. Oh, when you said Damnation, I literally thought you were just saying Ritual of Soot. I thought you were just saying Ritual of Soot, and so I just thought... Yeah, okay. Okay, now I just know you're actually a next-level troll. Teferi is in the Gatewatch, I guess. He did take the oath. So, you know. I guess that's a thing. I do like Hostage Taker. Actually, maybe I just don't have these cards. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Untouched by Death. Yeah, the M19 version. And there's also this, like, Dominaria intro deck Chandra, I guess. No Nyssa. No Gideon. There's also a Jace Ingenious Mage that is legal. Garbage Chandra Dragon. Are there any dra <laughs> hang spell that. Are there any dragons I'm missing here? Did we we looked over this already, right? 
I mean, I don't want to say right like you guys are going to tell me we did because I know we did. Spit flame? Hmm, maybe. It's three man. Three man is a lot. I don't like Direfully Daredevil just because um, I also see money. I saw you, buddy. <laughs> I don't like Direfully Daredevil because it's not a two drop. Like you're never gonna play it on turn two. Maybe you do just to block like some of the early guys, but it just doesn't seem great. I like Discovery a little better, but I like Thief of Sanity way too much not to play Thief of Sanity. I also think we want, like, I like Theater of Horrors a lot. I don't know what we put in place of. Maybe we just want two Chemistry's Insights in the deck. Hostage Taker. It was like in a garbage tree. The original version of the deck we were playing actually had treasure map in it. Draconic Disciple is green. Oh my god. We do have a lot of fours already, but like Hostage Taker is good. I don't actually hate secrets, but we have a lot of three drops. We have three, three, two, and three. <laughs> I thought the deck was white. Oh, man. I can't deal with you guys sometimes. It's really bad. One more search for us content could be a thing. All right, let's try this one more. Let's give it one more, one more college try, and we'll see if we nailed it. I'll deal with it. Spawn of Mayhem, we have no way to deal damage on turn two. Oh, Scarab God, please. Never again. Oh, God. Jesus. You'll never hurt me again, Lava Coil. Lava G2 Lava Runner. Run on this lava, you stupid idiot. Got him. I mean, they're playing the mono red deck, and their name is the bad guy, so it, it all, it's all adding up. Lightning strike to the face, my dude, huh? We'll pay two and we'll help kite. See what happens. No haste. Sure. El Dragzies? Dra Dragonzi? Dragonzi. That's just Italian for dragon. You play a Dragonzi. Okay, I go to six. I'm still alive. Got him. Definitely not going to four here. We're just gonna keep up uh gonna keep up double negates. Double negoots. Yeah, don't do that. Ain't nobody got time for that, my dude. Oh, 
so let me just play Thief of Sanity here. Um, play this. Enter tapped. No attacks. Nope. That's a nope for me, dog. Seems good. Don't care about that. I don't care about either of those things. Alright, well, you're basically dead, right? That's game. This is 12 in the air, and then we can activate this guy, so. Get her done. Alright, so, <laughs> against this monstrous deck, we're going to take out the Bedevils, take out one Chemist's Insight, bring in the Moments and the Negates. Take out, a Sar take out two Sarkons, Sarkon seems a little slow here. We're gonna fire a cannon, I guess. Oh yes. I mean, they don't play that many creatures. Like they play like three different types of creatures, right? Take out beef. <laughs> what does that even mean? You Australians. Oh, this is not this is not what we want. The lands are good. Looks like the internet just died, and I don't know why. So that's that's cool. Anyway, based on this, I have no idea how long it's going to take. I'm just going to end it here, guys. Apologies for that. I thought we could have finished that match, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. So sorry about the internet. Check me out at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can also check out Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below if you want to help out the stream or the content in any way. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.